Good evening, everybody, and I hope you guys are doing fine. You are watching season three of Tim Yap Live. Uh, the past pandemic has brought us into different levels of boredom, sadness, happiness, realization, all these things in one lifetime. And, uh, you know, some people call it the pandemic. Uh, it's called the Corona Coaster versus pandemic productivity versus all these things that were born out of the lockdown. Some people became chefs, uh, instant entrepreneurs after they lost their jobs. Others became artists. Others who were already artists became more prolific. Myself, alam nyo, uh, there are a lot of uh, highs and a lot of lows. Of course, I have you guys and I thank you for being there because it was my sounding board. I had uh, like a little channel, uh, a little uh, space where I can... Uh, express myself and uh, share with you guys and learn from you guys about how to go about what's happening right now. Nobody knows how to go about it, but uh, when we know that we are together, somehow it eases everything. So I want to say thank you for being with us from our first episode that we aired where we, we invited a couple of friends and we talked about how everyone was dealing with the pandemic until season two when we talked to more people and now we are already in season three we've talked uh, we've done more about more like more than 30 episodes of chatting of uh, conversation of uh you know having a good exchange of energy thoughts and uh, desires and frustrations all together we always read all your comments so keep on commenting and uh please share our this live para mas marami pang tao makakita at makarinig ng mga pinag-uusapan natin. Uh, thank you again for everybody who's watching and uh, and commenting. Um, and all for the people who are watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. You guys know the drill. Anyway, uh, another con confession of mine is that during this pandemic, uh, one uh, avenue that I uh, went to uh, to ease my my uh, feelings of uh, of confusion and aggression and uh, anxiousness, uh, other people turn to food. Okay, that's me too. I turn to food as well. Other people turn to uh, God. You know, they went into their Bible studies and uh, went with other people to really go inwards. Other people went into meditation and all these other things to alleviate the feelings that they are having at the moment. And, wow, you got to do what you got to do. Me, I went to art. Uh, art is one of those uh, places where I feel safe, where I feel I am like a little lost, a little boy lost in the canvas or in the space where the artist is provided. And I go into their mindsets and I go into, into whatever they're going through. I get... I, I take the ride with the artist and I feel, sort of feel what they're feeling or what they're feeling at that moment when they were making these uh, works. And so I thank the art community, arts community, the artists for continuing to make, uh, for continuing to produce works and, uh, and make something out of this uh, pandemic uh, as much as I can. I would go to exhibits, I would support artists and galleries and meet up with fellow collectors. I'm a budding collector and I learn so much from the older collectors because there's a wealth of uh, knowledge that you learn from them. So just recently, and this is for the first time, we recorded something. We went to, to two of the most important Filipino artists and uh, uh, it was a very select group of uh, people because, of course, right now, alam niyo naman that we have to go through social distancing and, you know, a very small number of people. Uh, for any event like an exhibit, we cannot have everybody because nagigimisik masikip and we might compromise the safety of other people. So, uh, at Secret Fresh Gallery, I met up with two art superstars. Ben Cabrera or Ben Cab 
and Ronald Ventura. Again, two of the most important art figures of this time. And they had an exhibit because they had a collaboration, a collaboration that we don't know. This is the first, this is very historical. It's a historical collaboration between two art giants. I don't know if this will ever happen again. And so it was interesting to know what their thoughts are on their work and on their collaboration. So let's go to Secret Fresh Gallery where we get to talk to Ben Cab and Ronald Ventura. We're here with the Ben Ben Cab, super uh, legendary artist. We all we all look up to uh, Ben and uh, how he's inspired a whole generation of artists and art collectors. So, uh, Sir Ben, how did uh, this uh, collaboration come about? Well, this is actually some of the ideas come from uh, Big Boy, mm -hmm. Big Boy Cheng. And I like the idea to work with the younger artists, particularly with Ventura, who is a, a well-known, quite good artist, yes. Yeah. And then, uh, so for this side, we are here uh, with, with, the, with your works, of course, your very iconic uh, uh, Sabel series. Mm -hmm. uh, every time you, so you made these works uh, during the pandemic. Yes, uh, yeah. yes. Was able to concentrate on them. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so you know, uh, 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 other people were locked down and uh, Mr. Uh, ben Cab here was able to create such beautiful works of art. So I want to know uh, what goes on in your mind while you're working on, on your Sabel, say part, a particular piece like well, these I ones. I always have to think of a, a new approach to, because you know, it's an old subject of mine, but uh, you have, she always evolved. And the pandemic gave me that time also, as you know, that uh, the artist can s stay in one place and work and don't worry about, you know. So, so this is the Sabel of the pandemic. The sa <laughs> this is the Corona Sabel. Ano ba yung Sabel? Mas malungkot ba si Sabel ngayon? Mas masaya ba? Ano yung state ni Sabel during the pandemic? This one, it's a sort of mel melancholic yes. thing like that, yeah. Okay, and then when you guys worked together, you and Ronald uh, Ventura, how what was the energy like? Nung sabay kayong nag naglalaro ng uh, ng ano niyo, ng mga works niyo. Great energy because uh, I like uh, the approach of uh, Ventura. Like uh, he's really more knowledgeable in terms of uh, yung mga digital yeah. things, no? So it was a nice collaboration. And when you guys talked, what did you guys talk about? Like, okay, I'm gonna do my my ganito, my classic. You're gonna do. I mean, how, what did you guys talk about when you guys decided to collaborate? Give him a lot of my materials, which he incorporated when he does his digital. And then after that, we rework on the print itself. So we added. We talk also. This is better here, or you know, as it's really a. Collaboration. A collaboration, yeah. yeah. And then when you saw it uh, on the walls, uh, what did you think oh, about it? I mean, this place is really great because uh, Big Boy renovated the place just yes. for, for this thing. Yeah. And it's really, what do you think? It's really good. It's amazing. It's the amazing, uh, amazing pro pro uh, pandemic productivity. Diba? May, may napala tayo sa pandemic kahit na, di ba, mga ganito nangyayari sa mundo, napakaganda. So, yes, 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 yes. Yun maganda. So is that your message for the young artists that no matter what uh, happens uh, during the pandemic, mm -hmm. that creativity continues? Continues, yes. Somebody, you know, the artist should continue and uh, think of what you can do during the pandemic. Yeah. And for you, uh, Sir Ben, you've done uh, a lot of uh, collaborations with Secret Fresh also. Even I have your caps. Uh, you know, I have... Uh, wh what is next? Wh what are your other plans uh, uh, after your, uh, this wonderful collaboration, this landmark collaboration? What's next? For me, it's uh, the continuity, continuity of my work. Yeah, I'll, I'll still be painting and still be, until, you know... Still strong. So very strong, yeah. yes. I'm already 78, so... Wow, wow. <laughs> so it's nice to collaborate with the young girl. Yeah, yeah, You yeah, get yeah. that, you know, energy. Yeah. And we look forward to more of your works, more Sabels, more of Ben Cab to the years to come. Thank you for inspiring all of us.
Thank you too. Okay, thank you sir. Okay, <laughs> salamat, salamat. Okay, thank you. So if there was one artist who is a rock star in the, from the auction house to the galleries and everybody wants to collect him and because of his great artistry and I've seen his works from before till now, he's here beside me, Ronald Ventura. Ronald, kamusta? Um, how are you? Uh, yeah, okay. Okay naman. Kamusta ang pandemic? How have you been uh, uh, feeling and uh, reacting to the pandemic? Uh, actually, uh... In terms of, uh, in terms of yung uh, pag-alis siguro, parang uh, the same, the same lang as, as my, my, my before pandemic kasi doon yung talaga ako. Ah, hindi ka talaga naman nabas na yun, oh. But of course, ngayon mas aware ka sa, sa, uh, sa health mo and then yung family mo. Hmm. Siyempre mas, uh, mas tinitignan mo sila lagi. Yeah. Were you able to ano, uh, paint the mga ibang tao, di ba? The stuck sa studio, they were able to do stuff. Or how, ah, how did yeah. you use your pandemic time? Actually, it's still the same. Still the same. Still the same. But the, I think I noticed about the, about about the the audience now, because they they um, now they they realize the or maybe they they think that my my work now is 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 um, in this time because they say they saw a lot of uh, mask and gas mask but that but I'm doing that a long time ago. Uh, before mo so, pa nagawa yung mga mask oh, mga na, So oh, now oh. they appreciate it more. Uh, they uh, understand it more now. Uh, kasi, so w- what would you say that uh, your works before uh, sort of, were sort of prophetic of uh, the times now? Actually th- that time it was not the uh, not the health issues. It's the um, it's the um, the information, yeah. the, the toxic toxicity, uh, toxicity of uh, information. Oh, parang too much so of it everything. So it just reflects around. now in our time. Yeah, I know. There's always a message with your works. So there's a certain uh, post-apocalyptic uh, feel of of uh, of different uh, different inspirations that are sama sama in your canvas. Eh, no? It's just dark, like a dark cloud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How about your work now? This uh, collection uh, here that you unveiled dito sa Secret Fresh. Mm-hmm. Ano yung, what, what, is, what is it about now? Actually, it's, it's about is something. You mean the subject? The subject is it's just, um, it's just the same. It's just ongoing. But the colors now, it's, it's more on the blues and the yellows compared to the last time that I was using red majority. Yes. But now it's... Uh, all you can see is just um, a sepiatic blue or, s- or sepiatic yellow. And you made these works uh, during the pandemic? Yeah, yeah during, during lockdown. During the lockdown. So these are all your parang lockdown babies, you know? Uh, yeah. So, so this one, see, can you tell me about this, uh, uh, Ronald? And what was going through your Maybe mind when you were making it? It's just like an effect of uh, the pandemic. It's just like the breathing. It's more mechanical now. Yeah. You can see like a, there's, some, there's a machine or... And there's something like that burst into his uh, into his mouth. Na inside, parang may, uh, may um, mechanism, parang may just cyborg, no? Something like you, you fuse the the natural and the, and the, and the mechanical elements to, yeah. to put it together. It creates um, like um, um, contemporary breathing. It's like your now your. Um, your and I mean you're, now you're checking about your your uh, health, your health and your breathing. Yeah, it's something like a mechanical. Yeah, I, I I can see a certain duality in your works because even there, right? It's a half a young man, and then underneath there's a there's a he's grown into an older man. Mm. You know, there's always a two sides there's to your a, there's works. There's a fusion there. It's, it's like a young man with a with a Poseidon sculpture slashed. Ah. So it's like um, um, it seems like a, something like a bluish, uh, refreshing kind yeah. of uh, or nostalgic effect to the contemporary uh, imagery of the head or the face. Yeah, yeah. I like it because you always uh, somehow merge things. Eh? You merge classic and yeah. modern together. Yeah, actually, classic it's it's, it's like uh, a fusing or um, giving them back to the to the history of. of uh, image making, so it became more um, 
you call this? Uh, fam you can be familiarized with the, yeah. with the object first and before entering into a new uh, image uh, definition. And then nagi iba siya, nagakaroon yes. its own meaning. Diba? Yeah. How, what, how did you feel when this was uh, offered to you, the collaboration between yourself and Ben Kang? Actually, at first, it's hard to imagine that, that fusing some works of um, Mr. Benka and, and mine, of course, there's a, but in a way, in, in, a, in a way, I, uh, I requested for him a lot of uh, different references, like uh, from his old photographs and uh, recent paintings, so I can use it to, to, to have a composition that it's not going to be more, uh, I mean, intimidating to each other. It, I, I, I uh, compose it into a, into a, into a balance kind. para may harmony kasi yes, yes. para hindi naglalaban yung dalawang elements yes, of, because, of yours um, because it doesn't have to to clash yeah. you know it has to to absorb each other so, yeah, yeah. so that's the composition I made for that kind of prints uh, and how did it feel when you guys were actually working together I, I saw the videos of you guys painting uh, ano yung feeling ba was it ano, yeah. playful was it uh, meditative actually it's it's, it's, it's for us, it's easy because we're uh, we uh, we've been to, to printmaking, so we've been also to, also with the uh, with the uh, STPI, the Singapore Tyler Prints Institute. We they invited us, but not at the same time, but in, in different year. So we we experienced a lot of different techniques and process of printmaking, and also we're. Before, before they um, invited us, we're just we're already practicing here in in Manila. Those, those kinds of uh, process techniques. Oh. Techniques. So it's very easy for us to collaborate on that kind of process. Yeah. So um, it's easy to draw or have a paint on top on top of it, or or adjust in a different kind of mood. So, um, I saw a lot of works of Ben Cab. There's a lot of colors, but. Um, also, I have to fuse some things that that's, that is new and uh, more relative to, to contemporary. Uh, and so, this has been super well received. Will there be a part two sometime uh, in the year in the, yeah, in maybe, the future? Maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, 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 because it's, it's it's not very hard to to collaborate with them. Yeah. It's, it's easy. You have just to go to the to to search some of his uh, works to to make it more. Uh, so you can adjust a little bit. Yeah, but this is super historic because two superstars together, you know, it's a, 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 a 2020 in the year of coronavirus. It gives us <laughs> all something to, to aspire for and yeah. uh, look up to. So thank you for this, uh, for doing this. Yeah, thank you also. Okay, thank you, Ronald. Okay. Salamat. Okay. And there you go. We just spoke to the Ben Cab and Ronald Ventura. We were right there. We were behind them while they were signing their books. We were right there when they were interacting with their collectors. It's a very, very limited number of people. So through this uh, live, through this session that we premiered uh, tonight, we get to hang out with them also and witness this historical gathering of art superstars. It's very important. Art is super important in a country's soul. So we need to highlight the heroes behind the art scene. So I hope you click like and subscribe and continue uh, putting on your comments. Again, we read all the comments. We appreciate all the comments. Thank you so much for your support, whether artista ang pinapuro natin or artists. Kailangan support natin ang mga artists at artistang Pilipino. Okay? Thank you so much for tuning in to Tim Yap Live. This is again Tim Yap saying good night.